I now call to order the New Carlisle City Council meeting, April the 1st, 2019, at 7 p.m. Mrs. Burnham. Mayor Reynolds. Here. Mr. Shammy. Here. Mr. Lowry. Here. Mr. Cobb. Here. Mr. Cook. Here. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Here. Six members present. Fantastic. You don't mind standing for our invocation and pledge of allegiance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to be in this city, Lord. Allow us to continue to make the decisions that will affect our citizens' lives, Lord. Let us continue to be blessed as our city continues to grow and our budget continues to grow. Lord, protect every citizen in this city as the uh, weather continues to change. Uh, and Father God, deliver uh, your wisdom and guidance to us as we continue out through the rest of the year. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Sit the pledge at the back. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Mrs. Berner. So action on the minutes for 311 19 Town Hall. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lindsay. I move to accept the minutes 311-19 uh, and 318 regular second. meeting. I'll second that. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Sustain. Mr. Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Minutes accepted 5-0. Communications, there are none tonight. Mr. Bridge. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor Reynolds, members of council, members of the public. would like to share with you the city manager's report. Uh, under new building uh, informational items, the new building updates uh, signed the contract to purchase on 326. Um, closing date will either be either 4-5, which is this Friday, or 4-8, which is Monday. We're waiting for that title to come back. Um, we, I met with the architect very briefly on 326 for the initial measuring. Uh, so he was present, and that was the actual date when we signed the contract to purchase. He happened to be there. Um, next step is we actually got to close on those close on the property, which is the two dates I uh, described previously. Uh, wait for a design to be completed by our architect, and then that will tell us how to proceed after that. Um, I do not have the update, updated cost of sheet, so I will have to email that to council um, at uh, later on this evening or tomorrow. Uh, conferences, the city manager only. Intro to government finance, April 24th and 25th. That's in Marysville, Ohio. And then also a uh, all three of us, meaning uh, myself, our finance director, and also our service director, will be attending the CERB Academy in Columbus, May 2nd through uh, 3rd, actually in Dublin. And the CERB Academy is, um, our, our, some of our employees are unionized and that is the actual unit they have to uh, bargain through. So it's a great uh, informational tool, especially for new uh, administrators or new employees that aren't familiar with the process that we go through when we manage unionized employees. Um, VIP analytics training is ongoing. Uh, that is uh, dealt with through me and the finance director. Uh, we have had two sessions to date. We have a few more to go. I am very excited about the new software and the capabilities of it, um, and we we're also very eager to share new and improved reports and budget uh, formats with City Council. I do have a note under, uh, underneath here to uh, start discussions on Madison Street, Street School. I will ask that we probably continue on that discussion next week, uh, next council meeting. I'm still waiting to hear back from a few more people to have a very uh, fluid and, uh, and beneficial discussion with council members. So uh, for that one, I'll just ask to politely bring up at the next council meeting. All right, council, any questions? Hearing none, thank you, Mr. Bridge. Comments from members of the public, please limit comments to five minutes or less and state your name and your address. Hearing none, Mr. Graham. Dale Graham, 114 South Main Street. Um, since the inception of my business in New Carlisle News, our goal has been to inform the public. So continuing in that vein, we'll be sponsoring a candidate's night, Wednesday, May 1st, 7 p.m. here. We have invited both city council candidates, Amy Hopkins and Becky McKenzie. Uh, the residents will have, we will have uh, questions that we will ask and uh, People in attendance will be able to ask questions. And I'd like to thank Peggy Eggleston and Bill Cook for helping put it together. Thank you. Any other comments? Hearing none. 
Committee reports none tonight. Resolution is none. Mrs. Burner. Ordinances. <coughs> I think we have ordinance 19-06, public hearing in action tonight, and ordinance amending chapter 238 of the codified ordinances of the city of New Carlisle regarding the division of fire. Council. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lindsay. Move to accept ordinance 1906. Second. Mr. Cobb. Cobb. Mr. Bridge. Cobb or Cook? Cobb. Cobb. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. <clears throat> uh, explanation of this ordinance. Um, our fire pay is actually set uh, in our codified ordinances. Um, so anytime that there is needs to be an increase or decrease, we don't like to see decrease in pay scales though. Any times that we need to see that increase, that has to go in front of council since it is already codified in our ordinances. And that's what's there tonight. So um, what we have in front of them is uh, a pay raise for our, our fire and EMS personnel. <coughs> so the people who put their life uh, on the lines every single time they come and respond to one of, our, uh, one of your calls. Uh, the compensation has not been addressed since 2014. So they're kind of overdue with that. I did send an email out to council uh, last week when I dispersed these packets that said that there was a little bit of a mistake on one of the paid, and that is under Lieutenant Cross Trained. It's on the first page there. It's actually the last one on the thing. It is actually supposed to say base and a dollar, not base and a, a 75. Anything you want to say on that, sir? What it was, it was um, originally with our pay salaries, the way they were, a lieutenant paramedic and a lieutenant EMT was making the same salary, which we strongly felt that that needed to change. Uh, a paramedic should be making more than what an EMT does, whether they're a firefighter, lieutenant, or whatever. So we reformulated the pay scale to where they, a firefighter gets paid, first of all, for their certification level, whether it be firefighter, EMT, firefighter, paramedic, and then they receive an additional monies for being an officer. And when we first initially did it, we, and how we missed it, I don't know. Um, when we first initially did that, when we uh, only had the EMT lieutenants at 75, it was not a raise for them. So we needed the additional to bring it up to the dollar to, make, to give them their raise as far as being lieutenant EMTs. And that's the reason for that. Council, Mr. Cobb. Chief, your battalion 52, what's his pay? It will be whatever his uh, uh, certification level is. Council. To have a motion to amend. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lindsay. I make a motion to amend the Lieutenant Cross Train base pay from 75 cents to a dollar. Second. Any discussion? Shammy. Yeah, he seconded. Any discussion? Nope. We vote on the amendment. Okay. Mrs. Byrne. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Accepted 6 0. Any other discussion on the ordinance itself? Hearing none. Mrs. Byrne? Okay. Mr. Cook? <coughs> yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Accepted 6 0. Other business, Congressman Warren Davidson will hold mobile office hours at the city building on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 1 30 to 2. Crime watch is Wednesday, April the 10th at 6 30 p.m. here at the Smith Park Shelter House. In our governmental meeting, May, oh, sorry, Mar ugh, Monday, April 29th at 6 30 p.m. The location is to be announced. Executive session, there is none tonight. Council, anything for other business? I have one. Oh, Mr. Bridge, you first. Does anyone remember when that when they sit where there's is it Bethel Township next time for the intergovernmental meeting? We host it. Yes. We hosted we last time. Last. Is okay. it Bethel Township, Miami? Clark County, you mean? Yeah, sorry, Clark. Mm -hmm. oh, right. And then I have one thing. So I spoke with our city manager a while back about uh, a flag that has flown over the US Capitol. I had went to another community. And they had this really yeah. neat setup yeah. where they had it's at good. their park the flag that had flown oh, a little plaque awesome. about it. I thought that was just a pretty neat we thing. So I reached out to Congressman Warren David's off, Davidson's office and his office, but I don't want to rip this, but I probably will. Okay, good. Uh, presented our, our city with a flag that's been flown over the U.S. Capitol. 
for us. And it was, uh, here is the certificate of authenticity from the Congressman's office that says, this is to certify that the accompanying flag was flown over in the U United States Capitol at the request of the Honorable Warren Davidson, member of Congress. So we'll be doing a flag raising ceremony with our VFW once I get all the details worked out. And I've called Congressman Davidson and we hope to have him here as well. So that's all I have that's on that. Fantastic job on that, that's so cool. Well, I think it was a good idea and I'm thanking you for saying let's do it, so. Absolutely. All right, council, any other comments, questions, or concerns? Hearing none, Mr. Lowry. Your motion, we adjourn. I'll second it. Sammy seconds, we're adjourned. Yeah. Oh, I like it.